Integrate cosine of 5 theta times the cosine of 3 theta. Solution. To do this problem, we have to use an identity. The problem is that here we have a 5 theta and here we have a 3 theta. So these numbers are different. So whenever that happens, you want to use the product of some identity. So it's cosine of mx times cosine of nx. That's equal to 1 half bracket. And the identity, basically you subtract the m and the n. So it's cosine of m minus n x and then plus and then you do cosine then you add them m plus n x so here all we have to do is use the identity and integrate so let's do it so this is the integral this will be one half bracket cosine and let's see so m here is five and n here is 3. So first we subtract them, so m minus n. So 5 minus 3 is 2, plus, and then we add them, it's m plus n. So 5 plus 3 is 8, cosine of 8x dx. To finish, we just break it up. So this is 1 half integral cosine 2x dx plus 1 half integral of cosine 8x dx. When you integrate cosine, you ask yourself, what's a function whose derivative is cosine? So sine, the derivative of sine is cosine. Also, when you have a number in front of the cosine like this, all you have to do is you integrate the cosine, then you divide by this number. So it'd be 1 half times and then sine 2x over 2. The reason you can do that is because if you had to integrate cosine 2x dx and you wanted to show the work, you would let u equal 2x, and then so du is 2dx, then you would divide by 2, so you would get 1 half du equals dx, etc., and then you would get that 1 half, that's where the 2 comes from, plus 1 half, same thing here, it'll be sine 8x, except this time it's over 8, then we still have the plus c. To finish, we just multiply these numbers. 2 times 2 is 4, so we get 1 fourth sine 2x, and then 2 times 8 is 16, so 1 16th sine 8x, and then plus our constant c. And so that is the final answer. I hope that made sense.